I mentioned before the glee that I had that the people who tried to interrupt a dancing show in Sweden, one of them got bopped on the head with a camera. But these are these people who think if you sort of throw orange dust around, we'll all change our opinion on uh, the use of fossil fuels. This happened again, and it ha happened at Twickenham. They were trying to interrupt a, uh, a rugby match here. Well, we all know why, but does anyone, does anyone care? Does anyone's mind change because of this garbage? No. No, absolutely not. In fact, the opposite. Um, the opposite. Uh, I think we're so repulsed by their behaviour, and they're such a tiny fringe. They're all, you'll notice, upper-middle-class white kids with names like Jocasta and Sebastian, with very <laughs> rich daddies, and clearly, uh, and clearly not much else to do. And, of course, they've been told from primary school that if you drive a 4 by 4 the world's going to end, billions of people will fry to death within the next fortnight, and so they throw orange dust around and they lock themselves onto highway bridges, you know, crying hysterically that the end of the world is coming. Um, and what they're doing is they're getting in the way of sports fixtures, of people attending art galleries. They block roads when you want to get to your parents' funeral or to a wedding. And they're becoming a bee nuisance. And we need to start getting much, much tougher in the way in which we deal with them. Shout out to everyone who's called Jocasta. But, you know, it's slightly true when it comes to the protesters.